Hey guys, we're back. Hello. Hi. Oh, yes. Ellis is more of a spe spectator. She didn't want to come out in the video, but here we go. We um, shared a video yesterday playing with playing cards. Today I'm sharing a video with dominoes. These are dominoes. They are black with white dots. There are dominoes that are white with black um, dots. There's dominoes that have color dots. Um, there's dominoes with flags on them, all kinds of dominoes. But I figured um, that the people seeing this probably already have a set of dominoes at their house. Um, so I wanted to show a couple of math games that you can play with dominoes um, to help your child with their fluency. So um, I was playing this one day in my living room when my youth group was here. Um, I had Lily play it and then all of a sudden everybody else wanted to play it. So I had a bunch of teenagers um, and young adults playing the game as well. So kind of goes to prove that everybody in the family can play this with your little one um, and everybody will have fun, especially if they're competitive. So here's what you do. You pick up a domino, you see the two numbers, five and four, and you add it. So you pick it up, nine. Next one, zero. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Next one, five. And you keep going while you're being timed. The other way you can do it is by multiplying the numbers that are there. So two and three is six. Okay, so I'm gonna have um, Adriana multiply, turn and multiply. We'll time her. The reason I'm doing that is because Adriana is a little faster at adding than Lily, so that way we can make it fair playing ground. So Adriana is going to turn and multiply. We're going to time her, and then Lily's going to try and beat her time by turning and adding. Okay. You ready, Nana? Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> oh, three. I mean, zero. Thirty-six. Six. Twelve. Four. Twenty-five. Thirty. <laughs> Uh, blank, five, nine, four, um, eight, seven, Mmm, 42 seconds. Okay, we did. We slowed her down, Lily, for you. <laughs> slowed her down. <laughs> 40, what did I say? 42? Mm -hmm. Okay, 42 okay. seconds. Man. Here we go. So <laughs> Lily's going to turn them all around, mix them up again, and then she's going to add the two numbers this time. Go okay. for it. Ready? That doesn't help you. Ready, <laughs> set, go. Four, zero, seven. Six, <clears throat> six, three, six, five, three, eleven, five, eight, seven, five, ten, ten, twelve, nine, nine, seven. Six, four, four, eight, eight, done. 46 seconds. No, 45. 46 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> 46 seconds. Okay. So, what are you frustrated? Keep them out here. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I lost my screen. Anyways, I'm sure you're seeing me even though I can't see what I'm doing. You, you. There it is. Okay. So that was two different ways that you can play the same game. Time it. See if they can beat their time. That's not the time to fix their um, adding. So if they take six and two and then they say that that's actually seven, let it go. When the game's over, you pull it out and you go over it with them so that they can correct their mistake. Um, you don't tell them, no, that's, um, that's eight. What you do is you ask them to do it again. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can flash into them and they'll tell you what they see. So, for instance, Lily, what do you see? Nine. Or? Five you, and four. Or five and four. Okay, so that's called subitizing. So you'll do um, one at a time, keep holding them up for a couple of seconds, put it back down, ask them what they saw. So, Lily, what do you see? I didn't see it. Oh, okay. Six and two. Or? Or eight. Perfect. 
All right, so that's another game. Another one that you can do is have them pull out all the doubles. Six and six. Five and five. What's three the other and one? Three and three. Zero and zero. So on. So um, these two. are actually incomplete, which is great for letting your children play with incomplete ones um, so that they can, you know, if they lose one, you won't be upset at your next dominoes match. Um, the other thing that you can do with them is play regular dominoes. Um, having them match the numbers is always a good practice. Um, you can also have them set them up like a number line, like yesterday's number line. So I have three. Um, here's a five. Can you find me a four? Here's a six. Four. Adriana, can you find me a seven? Seven. No, eight. <laughs> seven. Oh, good. And so on, right? Um, so <laughs> Lily's very proud of herself. Um, those are a few things that you can do with dominoes. The other things that you could do with them is have them stack them up and build with them. So they can build towers out of them, um, something a little more creative than that, I'm sure. Um, or you can have them do the whole domino effect thing and build um, one of those domino knockdown things. I forget, they have a regular, uh, a good name for that um, that's just not coming to mind right now. Um, so those are a few games that you can play with dominoes. There you go. Thank you.